babies. Greetings and welcome once again to RockFreakinSolid.com. Or if you're um, watching a uh, video thing, um, like on a, a platform like I don't know, Meta Cafe or YouTube or whatever, welcome here. But just in case you are and you're not seeing this on the blog, I should tell you right away. Last two posts are very important. The last two videos. This is the week we're doing woodwinds. Today is Friday where we're making the project. Monday, we discussed the mathematical formula for finding the measurement of any notes, any given notes wavelengths, which is very important. Okay? If you want to do precise tunings, you need to know the math. So please, um, there's a link to today's post in the video description. It, oh, wait a minute. Just in case this is YouTube. They've been doing some changes. The video description used to be over there. Now I think it's down there. Wherever the video description is, there's a link to today's post in it. Click on it. Come visit. There's more information than, than can be in this video for today's post. And you'll be able to go back to posts previous and see the mathematical formula. Very important. I can't stress that enough. All right. Um, what is in today's post in the text is, well, once you find out what length you want to make your flute, depending on what note you want it to be, the fundamental or root note, which is the lowest possible playing note with all finger holes closed. Um, you'll also need to know, according to that note, what would the next finger hole notes would be. There's a table for that in today's post. You know, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, whichever one of those uh, that you choose your flute to be. After that will be a row of notes which will tell you what these finger holes should play. Okay? All right? Um, there I go again saying okay 11 million times in the video like Monday. Um, All righty. So, um, yeah, uh, you also should know that we're making basic flutes. And for any basic flute or any wildly awesome flute, you know, whatever you want to make, you really only need six finger holes in order to play each and every note in the diatonic and chromatic scales, all the sharps and flats and in-betweens and into the next octave. So, yeah, make it basic. Um, beyond that, uh, this this video is probably going to be a two-parter. Just doing a little description right now. We'll, we'll show you, I'll show you uh, more in-depth in the next steps in this video what we're going to start with. First, we're going to do the embouchure hole. There's a little map to find out where to put that. Okay, it's a very, very tiny bit of map. It's like two numbers, okay? Um, all right. Um, so, oh, you should also know that for precise tuning, uh, there's, first, you need to understand that even though we're using very precise, 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 precise mathematical formulas, uh, the answers we get are only going to represent approximations, okay, approximate values. Because of a number of other factors, whether you know, you're in some strange elevation, if the, the, the air is humid or not, or, or the temperature is different, uh, the, the material you're using, you know, if, if it's more like this is wider here than it is over there on this end, because, well, this is bamboo. PVC you don't have that much of a problem with, it's pretty much uniform. Um, you always remember you're dealing with approximate values. Start your hole small. The, 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 uh, the answers to the math will show you where the center point of the hole will be. Drill a small hole about like a, an eighth of an inch. Okay. All right. And um, then make them bigger with a file as you go further. You'll, you'll see in a couple of, about a half a minute. Um, make your holes one at a time. Don't go drilling all six. You know, finding the math and then drilling all six and then trying to... Don't do that. Start with this one, the one farthest from the embouchure first. Make it big, make it bigger, make it bigger until you find the right note, and then go to the next one and go to the next one. Take your time. The very first hole will, of course, be the embouchure because you need to find out. You need to hear the note to see if you got it correctly. The other thing about tuning is, now, if you have a very good ear, you could probably do this by ear, or if you use pitch pipes or... If you use what I love to use, a little digital chromatic tuner, there's a link on the blog to find out where to get these real cheap. Or if you want to do a precise and yet free method, in today's post is a link to get a free 
downloadable program for your computer, a nice piece of software that will allow you to perfectly chromatically tune just about any instrument, okay? So do check that out. Come pay me a visit. Um, all right, let's get on to the next steps. All right, here's where we get down to stuff. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, what I should probably state is the obvious, which should be obvious. Before you even, when you figure out the map to find out how long you want your flute to be, okay? All right. <laughs> um, here's the old familiar karege chicken stick. Well, back home in America, the corn dog stick. Using this as a pointer. You want to make this hole first so that when you cut it to length, remember it's a half a wavelength according to the note minus about a third of the bore diameter. Remember to check that post on the mathematical formula. It's very important for this project and other ones. Um, first you want to make the center point of the hole to be one bore diameter's distance from the inner wall of this plugged end. All right? So right about there. That's where the center point of the hole should be. You want to make the embouchure hole about a half bore diameter wide. Now, that's pretty much just a guideline. I mean, if you're making like a huge bass flute, like uh, one, of my other, one of my other YouTube videos is called the Big Ass Bamboo Bass Flute. It's a honking huge thing. It's got like, I don't know, 15,000 views by now. I get a feeling having big ass in the part of the title it has something to do with that. Um, you don't need it to, like if it's like three inches wide, you don't need a one and a half inch wide embouchure. It's just a guideline. You don't want to go beyond a half a bore diameter long, it, it, uh, wide. Yeah, you just need it to be about, uh, I don't know, like a half inch or so. Don't want to go beyond that. But um, so that, that way you can blow across the note and make the note and you can judge how much more you need to cut off, how much more you need to cut off until you get the note precise for that fundamental note. Alrighty? Now when you do make the edge, you don't want to come from, come from the outside and make an acute angle, all right? You want to take off the material from the inside with a file so that then you can just blow across it, all right? Now, after you do that, when you figure out, when you use the formula to find out the uh, finger hole notes, remember, remember again, come to the, to the, um, today's blog post to see the table of what these notes should be according to what the fundamental note is that you've decided. Start at the center point there and make uh, an eighth of an inch size hole drill and then use a file to keep making it bigger and bigger until you get the note that you want. You want to make the hole bigger going towards the embouchure. Okay? Now, if you've drilled an eighth of an inch hole and depending on, I don't know, whatever uh, qualities of the air you're working in and or you did your math wrong and you've gone above the note that you want to do you messed up chief time to throw it away and do it again <laughs> all right um, now when you do this if you, you, you don't want the hole to be like a half inch big and you have your finger plummeting into the, the the flute you really only want it to be like about a quarter of an inch wide maybe five sixteenths or something like that if you've get, gotten that big and you still haven't gotten high enough to the right note where's that board here we go all right here's what you do 